Hi traders, welcome to the recording of my live trading session today. I do want to discuss something extremely important today, a mistake that a lot of traders made, uh, make, and I made it today. And it's extremely important to understand this. As you can see, I'm starting with a losing trade. My first trade in path is down $1,700. Now I'm going to show you the trade in path, but it's not the topic of our lesson today. So here's the trade in path. I went short because path started with a huge gap down, 25%. Now it tried to move higher, which is great. It's exactly what I'm looking for in a, in, in, in a gap and go. And it was supposed to come down, so I shorted it right over here. did not work, moved over the height, took me out. I have a loser, $1,700. Now I'm moving to the trade I really wanted to talk about, which is... Uh, Tesla. As you can see, Tesla is trending higher. It looks great. So I'm looking for a reversal. I found a reversal just over 279. You can see the reversal over here. But before I take the trade, I watch the S&P 500 and the S&P is trending higher. Now you can see the S&P moving higher in five minute candles. So it is trending higher. Nothing wrong about the S&P. It supports my Tesla trade. I'm planning my Tesla trade and I'm going long my Tesla, Tesla right over here. Now I'm hoping that it's going to move over the highs and I'm planning it. Nothing wrong about that as well so my plan is to have a stop just under 278 uh, which is the whole number it's a little bit below the reversal point you're seeing right over there and if it goes up one dollar thirty my plan is to take my target and as you can see it is trending higher and again there's nothing wrong i have my target i have my planned stop loss and tesla is looking great and it's also getting the support of the s p 500 which is extremely important now tesla just moved off the highs reached my target I had plenty of time to take my profits, which I did not. I did not. That's exactly the problem I want to talk about later. Now, as you can see, I missed my target. Tesla is coming down. I have the planned stop loss just under 278. And Tesla is coming down, looking bad. And the S&P just pulling back down a little bit, which helped Tesla now come under. And I just moved out at a loss. So Tesla is out of the game. And I had a loser trade in Tesla. And again, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why didn't I take my profit at at the right point now uh, just um, uh, take a look at uh, my end results today you can see that I'm down $1,900 I finished the day in red uh, I do have one winner in Boeing but a loser in Path which I started my trading session today with and uh, of course Tesla almost $1,000 one cent under and uh, another loser in Nvidia now it's not about uh, me losing money today. I want to go back and reflect at what I did today because I think it's extremely important for you every day to reflect back on your trade, especially when you have a losing day because we don't like to come back to and think about what we've done today and what's the reason behind it and but we have to we have to and 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 listen to what i have to say now because it's extremely important there's two reasons why i lost money today in tesla first nothing wrong about the planning uh tesla was trending higher the sp was trending higher i had my my entry point planned my target and my stop loss i did not stand to my plan i did not take my profits where i should have and it's a it's a it's a big mistake as big as not standing to your stop loss it, it's exactly the same thing now i'm not saying that once the stock is reaches your plan target immediately you should take your profits no i'm not saying that you should let it go a little bit more but i had plenty of time to see that i i i, I, I plenty of time to move out of this trade with a profit at my plan target I spent quite a long time there and i just didn't I was not supposed to have a losing trade and it came down then and of course i moved out at 278 just under 278 so I, I did stand to my stop loss i did not stand to my target i and and i just didn't execute this trade correctly and now i'm trying to think what are the reasons now you have the same i you going through the same problems as i do so please hear me out here when i started and that's reason number one when i started with a losing trade back in my mind i want to get to the point where i'm getting back to green so i was taking tesla tesla at that point was up like 800 dollars. i was not in green so that stopped me from taking my profits which is a stupid mistake why because there's nothing my, my tesla trade has nothing to do with the trade i had previously i mean there, no, nobody cares the market doesn't care i don't care nobody cares if you lost money in path 
you had a trade, I had a trade. In Tesla, I should have taken my target at the point where I planned to. But I was in my back, in the back of my mind, I was thinking about the path trade. I want to cover the loss. I did not take it because I was greedy or whatever. I just wanted to cover my loss. And again, there's no, nothing to do with my first trade. Tesla trade is a standalone trade and I should have traded it as I planned. I did not. I, I kept thinking about the, my loss in path and I was hoping to get back to green. And the second reason is my size. I traded Tesla with a very small small size. And again, it's because of my path trade because I started with a losing trade. It's actually not a big losing trade for me, but I lowered my size in Tesla. And if I had my regular size in Tesla, which would probably also cover my loss in path, then I would have probably felt better and uh, well, probably probably could have taken my, 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 my profits. And you know, the fact that I did not have a winner in Tesla and I had a loser in Tesla, that's exactly the sum of money that I lost today. So I could have finished, I don't know, in, in zero or maybe in green or maybe small red. But the fact is I had a losing day today. And whenever you have a losing day, you should always get back to the reasons why you had it and write it down and write it down. You should have a book, you should have a logbook and explaining what you did wrong and why. And I, again, reflected on this trade. And, you know, if I go back many years ago, I probably would have made this mistake several times a week or a day. Now, I am an experienced trader and I do these mistakes and I keep doing these mistakes because I'm a human being and we all make mistakes. Of course, I'm not making this mistake as regularly as I used to 22 years ago, but I'm still making these mistakes. And that's why I thought you should know about it and reflect on your trades as well, because I'm sure that you are doing the same mistakes. Remember, your target is as important as your stop loss. They're both important, extremely important. So always think about the reason behind it. And if the reason is your previous trade, it's totally wrong because nobody cares. You shouldn't care about your, your, your previous trade. Your new trade is all your world. There's nothing there to be considered based on your previous trade. Uh, thank you for listening to this video. If you liked it, I really appreciate it. If you give me a like, the button is right over here. And if you do want to join me, there's a subscribe button right over here and hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And there's plenty of links below. One of them is to the Colmex Pro platform, which I'm trading. There's a demo link right below this video. Please start with a demo because trading is extremely hard. Most traders do lose money as you can see in this video and uh, just be careful it is a hard profession harder than it looks thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video